Let me ask you a simple question. Do you usually hear a voice speaking inside your mind when you wake up, when you're walking, when you're doing your things? Do you usually hear basically your own voice? Like the way I'm speaking to you, I hear my own voice speaking inside me. My friends, that is called internal monologue. And only 30% of the people in the world have this voice. Hmm. Now, I want to tell you what this voice means and how it is very important that you hear this voice. Now, understand, internal, uh, internal monologue can be seen as the spiritual self. It is the spiritual man speaking inside you. So this voice is very important because this is the voice of God, the spirit man, not the natural man. The natural man is what you can hear, but there is another spiritual man who is always talking to you inside yourself. Let's say, for example, somebody has done you wrong and you're on your way to go and argue. There's always another voice speaking to you and telling you, no, is it worth it? Just leave it. Come on. There's better things that you can do. Forgive this person. That voice which always speaks inside us, that is the internal monologue. That is a spiritual voice. The voice of God which speaks within every man, every human being. But my friends, as you know, not all people are human beings. Not all people have this voice. And that's why I try to tell you so much on spirituality so that you can understand this aspect and be able to understand why Jesus always spoke about this and he said this in the book of John chapter 10 verse 27. He said, my sheep hear my voice. Hmm? They hear me and I know them and they follow me. Why do people of God follow him? Do you understand? Why do they follow him? At the end of the day, they follow him because they hear the voice. But if you don't hear this voice, then you cannot follow what you've not heard. And how do those people who do not have internal monologue visualize? Or how do they know things? Most of them, they have this thing, they, they, they internalize anything through visions. Whatever they see, they are able to internalize that. But at the end of the day, there is no voice speaking. That voice is also called creativity. The creativity within you. When you sit down, remember the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10, it, 46, 10, it says that, be still and know that I am God. When you're, when you're still, when you're quiet, when you're silent, that is the time that you can hear the inner man, the spiritual man speaking to you. All right? And of course, Jesus spoke about this over and over like what I've told you. Uh, my sheep hear my voice. All right? And that is the internal monologue. And understand, um, many people with uh, narcissistic, uh, narcissistic disorder, they usually don't have this voice. Just go and ask most of the people who are narcissists or people who are bipolar. Most of them, they don't have this voice. And that is why they do things without resonating in most cases. Why? Because there's no voice telling them, this is wrong. This is not right. You should not do this. They just go ahead and do whatever has come into their mind. You see people the way, um, you see somebody posting something on social media, uh, maybe some obscene photos and things which they are really regrettable but then why don't they regret because there's no voice inside them which is speaking to them and telling them this is not right this is not wrong uh, this is not good do this one instead and remember the inner voice is always contrary to the outer voice or to the outer man have you ever noticed that the inner voice is always telling you do good be right walk right be a good person but the outside man is always wanting to show ego and pride and who i am know me you know all those kind of things so when you look at that uh people who have this kind of uh, bipolar narcissistic disorder and all that eh? of course uh, they are there there are so many uh, even in our in our groups and our friends mostly they are disconnected from the spiritual self so it is a spiritual thing that they are always facing now for example think about the pharisees and the spiritual deafness do you do you remember jesus telling them in the book of john chapter 8 verse 47 that he that is of god hears god's word Yep, therefore you hear them not because you're not from him when they were trying to tell jesus oh we're also children of abraham <laughs> jesus said if 
uh, if you also we are also children of God. He said, if you are of God, then you could have known me. You could have heard the voice. You could have understood who I am. But because you're not of him, you're not spiritual people, you cannot understand spiritual things. Remember the Bible says, spiritual things are spiritually designed and a natural man cannot understand, cannot understand. He also spoke about the same Jesus on Matthew 13 verse 15. You can go and read that. But basically we see Jesus speaking about those whose hearts are hardened and cannot spiritually hear or see. Apostle Paul also spoke about this in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 16. He said, the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Basically, the Holy Spirit within us affirms our connection with God. There's always that spirit of God. You see, when Jesus said that um, the kingdom of God is within us, people thought it, it was just a joke. No, the kingdom is within us. It is the spiritual man. It is the inner man. That's the kingdom of God. So these people, they're not in the kingdom of God because they cannot discern. They cannot hear this voice. Now, <laughs> eh? I'm sure most people are wondering, okay, Kate, now I don't hear this voice. Does it mean that's the end of me? Now, I'm going to explain to you why God allowed these things to be this way and why Jesus did not even pray for uh, he said, I prayed for all that you have given unto me, but except the son of perdition, so that the words of God should be fulfilled. Why did God, Jesus, not pray for uh, Judas? Was it bias? It is because these were just not human beings. They were beings, other beings. And I'm going to be doing another video to explain to you who are these other 70%. Who are these other people who cannot hear the voice of God, the internal monologue, they cannot discern, they cannot understand? Who are they? And what purpose are they doing here on earth? Because this is a journey, my friends. This is a journey that I need us to walk together. If you're a child of God, if you're someone who is able to hear the voice of God. And no wonder the Bible says, if you can hear the voice of God, do not harden your heart. Because the day today is the day of salvation. If you can hear that voice, not many people can hear that voice. Many people are blind, they're deaf, they cannot hear. That's why they have no empathy. That's why they have no love, they have no kindness. Because all those love, kindness, and everything else comes from within. That is what we call the soul. And that opens another, uh, another chapter to speak about. Do these people have a soul? Those who do not hear the internal monologue? Because the ones who have an internal monologue, they have a soul. So those who don't, how do they operate? Do they have a soul? What's their fate? What's their destiny? These are so many questions that uh, we are going to answer. And please, on the comments below, you can just tell me what, what questions would you want me to answer concerning this matter? Because I know it's really deep and uh, vast. And I'm sure with all this, we can be able to see it in a spiritual perspective. Hope this was a blessing to you.